Regarding the sensory system examination, uh, this part really consists of uh, the routine examination of the spinothalamic tract modalities and the uh, dorsal column system modalities. And uh, sometimes the order of the examination committee is to check the cortical sensory function. All of this uh, we will show it just now. Uh, regarding spinothalamic modalities, we have, the, we have to test for light touch, pain, and uh, rarely for temperature, which is non routine. First of all, we will use a wisp of uh, cotton, and at first, I'll check it at the sternum as uh, a baseline and ask the patient about the touch. Bas Hamada, side is better. Okay. I ask the patient to close his eye, and then I'll check the finger. An area of uh, without uh, hair, and I'll ask the patient about the touch. Hasid? Okay, when? Okay. Hasid? Okay, Hasid, be here. Nefsil, Hasid, I'm not. Nefis, hell, check it, Nana. Well, let's do it for her. Yani, Nefsil, Hana, Nefsil, Mahasid, for a beer, or she. Okay? If the patient had really normal distal sensation, you have to jump into the uh, next modality to check it. While a patient who had uh, really impairment here, you have to ascend up and to check for spinal uh, level. Uh, if we want to check the uh, sensation of the upper limb, I'll also, uh, I had taken a, a baseline touch and then ask the patient to close his eyes. Okay. I'll use also over the finger. Hasa, hasa, yeah, okay. Hasa, okay. Then, if the patient you wanted to check whether the patient is malingerer or not, you have without touching the patient asking him. Hasa, 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 yeah, okay. Hasa, okay. Then, uh, after the light touch. We have to use the second modality in the spinothalamic tract, which is the pain. <coughs> also, you have to use a new safety pin and to check for baseline. Okay. <coughs> Okay. 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 If we have sensory impairment there, we have to ascend up for spinal uh, level. Really, in the ex examination, we have to know some terms about the absence of pain or about absence of touch. Regarding the light touch, decrease in the sensation of light touch, we call it hypesthesia. Absence of touch at all, we call it anesthesia. While in increased perception of touch, we call it hyperesthesia. In case of pain, Absence of pain sensation at all, we call it analgesia. While decrement in that perception, we call it uh, hypalgesia. And in increment in that, we call it hyperalgesia. This is with respect to the two modalities of the spinothalamic uh, tract. Then we have to check for the modalities subserved or conducted via the dorsal column system, which are the uh, position and uh, position sense and vibration sensation. For the position sense, uh, we can perform it just like this. Grasp laterally the little finger and the upper limb and show to the patient that this is down and this is up and then ask the patient to turn his head or to close his eye and to know where is the finger side. Hesse. هذا حماد اصبعك هيجي لفوق هيجي لجوا اوكي هيجي لفوق هيجي لجوا سريدك تصمم لنا عيونك وانا راح احركه وانت من اقول لك تقول لي على مكانه هسه 
لا من انا اقول لك هسه هسه اوكي ذن وي هاف تو كومبير وذ ذا كونترلاترال سايد هسه هذا نفس الحاله هم راح استخدم هسه جوا هسه اللي فوق عشت لك هسه نفس الحاله باصبعك هذا تشوفه تفتح لنا عينك هذا اصبعك الكبير نفس الحاله هذه اللي فوق هذه اللي جوا اوكي اوكي صد لنا عيونك هسه تحاول تقول لي هسه من اقول لك هسه هسه اوكي اصبعك الثاني راح اشيكه هسه هسه If the patient had impairment, for example, here, let's suppose in the upper arm, distally he had an impairment, we can really use the finger of the metacarbophalangeal joint, and then we can use the wrist, and then we can use the elbow. And after that, in the lower limb, if we have an impairment here, we can use the ankle joint, and the knee joint up to which level we can uh, test this modality. The second modality in the dorsal column system is to use tuning fork uh, that is 128 hertz should be checked for this modality and the same thing first of all I'll check a baseline test and then I'll check Individually, the joints there. هسا حمادة بس هذا راح أخليه على صدرك بس تحس إنه حسيت شو تحس؟ خش هسا راح أخليها على منطقة هماتين بجسمك وتقول لنا نفسها أقل ماكو أوكي فتصمنا عيونك أوكي خلينا هيدك هنا أنا. Let's suppose I'll use this side. That has? Yes. If you are not sure that the patient is accurate in this test, you can deaden the uh, turning fork and ask the patient about the time that this occurs. Then test the other arm. هم يعني من تنتهي تقول لي انتهت عشت يدك then we will check in the lower limb ده تحس اوكي هسه هم بعدين اذا انتهت تقول لي انتهت اوكي then we have to check the other side if we have an impairment for example in the lower limb I will use the medial malleolus patella and then anterior superior iliac spine if we have an impairment if we have an impairment here in the lower limb in addition to the interphalangeal <coughs> joints we can use the ulnar process styled process and then the olecranon and then the shoulder just like this i'll show it on this side that helps من توقف قول لي عشت يدك تحس هماتين اذا وقفت هماتين تقول لي اوكي اند ذن ذا شولدر تحس من توقف قول لي وقفت اوكي ذيس ار ذا تو موداليتيز يوزد فور ذا Uh, dorsal column system upon which you can decide really whether the patient had an impairment with any of these modalities. These are routine tests, but usually the turning fork uh, is uh, used mainly for postgraduate uh, candidate. This is with respect to the modalities of the sensory system, but we have to know that the dermatome of the patients uh, or of the person, because at the time of exam you may have an order that uh, to examine the C7, for example, or to check, for example, the C8. And we have to know the dermatome starting from the C3, for example, C4, 
C5 and the C6, C8, C7, sorry, and this is the C8, T1, T2, up to the implacus T10, and then T11, T12, and here L1, L2, L2 here, and then L3, L4, L5, and S. We have to know the dermatome of the patient. All these are uh, really the issues of the sensory system examination.